YouTube family, what's good? Happy Sunday to all y'all. I am in the kitchen yet again, about to cook up another simple meal. Tonight I'm gonna be making homemade chicken pot pies. Yes, it's very simple. So let's jump into this video. I'm gonna show y'all what I got, the ingredients I'm gonna be using. And all right, so let's jump into these ingredients. So to make it simple, I went to Meyer and bought two rotisserie chickens. Um, It's already cooked. All I had to do was the bone, the meat off the bone and and I'll cut up the chicken. So this is about two cups. No, about four cups worth of chicken because I did shred them up um, pretty good. So yeah. Alrighty, I got um, one large sweet onion diced up here. You can use any type of onion that you want. It could be yellow onion or whatever, but we prefer sweet onions. Um, so this is a, a large red sweet onion. Then I have um, about three-fourths of a cup, um, it's probably a little bit more, of mushrooms. And I got two celery stalks um, that I did dice up here. Four cups of frozen vegetables. Um, I could have, you know, cut up the carrots or whatever, but I was trying to, like I said, try to make it simple for y'all. So um, here we go. Four cups of mixed vegetables. Two sticks of butter. So that way I can go ahead and make my roux. Um, three fourth cup of uh, flour. This is optional, um, but I do got you know some shredded cheese here. You're gonna need about one fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream. You don't have to use this. This is you know truly, totally up to you. But I got my salt, my kosher salt, and my ground black pepper for you know taste wise. My two bouillon, bouillon, <laughs> two bouillon cubes. And I'm going to be putting this in my pot with my uh, chicken broth. This is some leftover chicken broth that I had when I made uh, the chicken casserole um, last week. So I'm going to be using this. And this is about four cups worth um, combined together for the chicken broth. And then to make it even more simple, um, to use my pie crust, Pillsbury. I got two boxes of this because I'm going to be doing two pans of... Um, Popeyes and we like to have our crust at the bottom, you know, of course the top. So I got two of these two come in the pack as you can see and then after I get my filling inside of the crust Or inside of the pan. I should not the pan. What y'all know what I'm saying um, I got the egg wash here and this is what I'm gonna put on the top So that way when I bake it in the oven it can get that nice, you know, golden brown. So All right, so as y'all can see I got uh, the chicken stock over here is cooking with the bouillon cubes. Like I said, you want to put two uh, two cubes in there, and I'm letting that cook. This is on medium high. I'll make sure to put all that on the screen as well for you all. And then I'm just waiting for my two sticks of butter to get down a little bit more. Go ahead and put these onions up in there. I don't want to wait for none, so make sure y'all get all y'all onions. Got this on high because our stove is a little slow. So you just want to go ahead and whisk this on up. All right, so now that it is cooking down some, I'm going to go ahead and start adding in. Hold on, Bubba. That's my baby in the background. Go ahead and start adding some of this uh, flour. And you want to add a little bit at a time. to not let it burn. Put that flour down some. So this is how y'all roux should be looking. At this point, I went ahead and added the chicken stock. And then I added about one fourth, uh, there you go, one fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream. And if you wanna thin out your roux a little bit more, you can add more chicken stock. But for me, it really doesn't matter. This is, you know, this consistency is perfect enough for me. So this is how it's looking. A little bit. Like that. But you can add like your salt and pepper, you know, 
to your liking, but I already did all that off camera, so. mixed vegetables turn this down a little bit more add in my celery ingredients in there the chicken the celery the mixed vegetables uh, mushrooms optional and your onions after you get all that mixed you know together this is how your filling should look and I did add a little bit of uh, pepper just a just a little bit but other than that this is how your roux mixed with everything should be looking Feeling is just uh, cooling down. This is the crust that I'm gonna be using again. If y'all didn't catch it at the beginning, um, it's a pack of two, and it's about three dollars at your local Meyer or Kroger. Um, all I did was just um, outline my pan. I have a third one over there, over here. So these, I'm just using these. That was store pans. Went ahead and just outlined the pan here and then you can trim it to your liking so i already did one off camera but this is how it should look this is the the inside as y'all can see i already did the uh first one but i'm gonna show y'all the second one you don't want to fill it all the way to the top you want to just get it mm, you want to leave about a half inch maybe one fourth of an inch uh, away from the the top so don't fill it all the way to the front because you don't want your Popeye to be overflowing just filling this on up so I got the first one completed and I'm going to show y'all how I top the second one this is what it looks like when you pull out the package um, <clears throat> since I'm just going to toss this on the top um, what I did for the bottom, I did put a little bit of flour on my chopping board. Um, that helps this uh, dough from sticking. So that's what I went ahead and did for the bottom. But just because I'm doing the top, I don't have to. I didn't, you know, put no flour or anything like that because I'm about to layer the top of it. So you just cover it as such. Got my knife. Trim the edges to your liking. that to how I like it I ain't no baker or nothing but let's go ahead and press this on down form the edges like such take my fork face down And next to this filling, this filling smells so good. Like literally, you can eat this by, by itself. But I ain't gonna do it. Trust me, this is so easy. If you just prep everything ahead of time, you won't have any issues. So I'm just gonna put my vents. This will help the heat to escape at the top. Now, last part is the egg wash. So I don't have a little pastry brush or whatever, so I'm gonna have to use my fingers, which my hands are clean. But just wanna go ahead and spread that on over, like such. Like I said, this will help it to, you know, give it a nice golden brown. So make sure you have some egg wash. 
I know some people use butter, but I'm, I prefer the bag wash. Get all up in them edges. Massage that baby all up in the creases. Get all up in there. You have it it's all prepped and ready to go in the oven my oven was preheated to 350 I'm gonna let it bake for about an hour and I shall return to show you all the finish mm -mm. she did that she did that <laughs> mm -mm. look at that y'all look at that just nice golden brown look at the flake of the crust like whoo Hot damn. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, she ready. She ready. She ready. <laughs> Let me stop playing, y'all, and feed my family. But there y'all have it. Homemade Popeye made by yours.